Fred Phelps mentioned this on the film Hate Mongers. He was saying how he believes when you mix money and religion, you get a terrible combination. Others say it's not the love of, it's not money itself, but the love of money, that's the problem. Westboro Baptist Church apparently fears money so badly that they can't accept anything for it. Now part of me wants to say, hey, this is a great way. You just don't sell anything. One other minister put it as, in the kingdom of God there is no buying or selling, only giving and receiving. But Westboro Baptist Church doesn't even give and receive. They won't accept a donation from you. They won't give anything to you in most cases. So is there something valid in this anti-money view or is it just another rigid idealism? Now a big question that comes in my mind when reading these confessions is this. Is Westboro Baptist Church more Calvinistic than other Calvinists or are other Calvinists more Calvinistic than they are? If you talk to Westboro they'll say those other Calvinists are not true Calvinists, they're fake. They're not really practicing Calvinist. I've listened to some Calvinist sermons. I've read some Calvinist books, looked at even a little bit of John Calvin's writing himself. And I've read these confessionals. I'm by no means an expert, just getting into this a little bit. But what I seem to think is that other Calvinists are actually more concerned with doctrine than Westboro Baptist Church is. Doctrine may play a role in what they do, but I don't think that's a central thing. They seem to be more concerned about homosexuality than they do about unconditional election. They seem to be more concerned about pointing out Lady Gaga's promiscuity than they do about perseverance of the saints. I'm not saying that this stuff doesn't play a role in their activities. I'm just saying that it doesn't seem to be the ultimate emphasis for me. So I would venture to say that other Calvinists are actually more Calvinistic than they are. Westboro Baptist Church tries to push it and they are sometimes referred to as hyper-Calvinistic but the irony is when you're so pushing so much then you may not be as actually Calvinistic as the other ones. The other Calvinists that I listen to on their sermons, they talk about the First London Baptist Confession of Faith, they talk about the Westminster Confession, they talk about John Calvin's Institute, they talk about Augustine, all this stuff. So I don't think it's a valid thing to say that they're not true Calvinists. 